Hi, this is Cubase Quick Tip on how to print your reverb tails at the beginning of your loops so that when you loop, um, you have reverb tail at the beginning so it's smooth and you don't hear the loop. So let's start with this drum loop. So I already have reverb on there. Insert, I'll just put it a little longer. Okay, so this is very long reverb. Um, now we want to create a stereo loop with the reverb printed everything. Um, I'll do a double loop. Select everything and I'll export. And after export, I want to create audio track. Now this creates a loop. And it's doubled up. Why am I going to use the second part for looping? Well, the first part, there is no reverb tail at the beginning here. So this one here has reverb tail from the last hits here. So let me demonstrate how these two how these two are different. So this the top one here um, is the one that has reverb tail at the beginning of the loop. So when you go to the end of the loop and when it starts back, it's smooth. When you go with the one that doesn't have that, you can hear the reverb cuts. So that's how you create a loop that has reverb tail at the beginning in Cubase. Uh, once that is done, you can just uh, re-export your uh, loop if you just want one bar. And that's it. That's the quick tip.